Welcome to the grand opening of Itosha King Nehale. Brought to you and hosted by Kondwana Collection Namibia and the King of Ondonga, Philemon Shuboy Nongolo. Now, as they usually say, good things comes to those who wait. And with the restrictions from the pandemic, we thought it would be best to wait to deliver the opening that we've always dreamt of. And now the wait is finally over and we are officially here for the grand opening. We got up before five o'clock to witness the lighting of the fire. The elder, Tatekuru Shifotoka, who is actually the custodian of the fire at the palace, got in the boma and uh, took a cow dung, lit the cow dung. We believe in humble beginnings and it goes on to bigger things. You start with small things, on to bigger things. Just like an idea goes on to becoming a, a lodge, an establishment like this one. Immediately after that, the elders walked outside and then they sat facing the east, waiting for the sun to come out. Rising before sunrise is a very important thing in our culture that a person should not be caught by sunrise in bed. It's a sign of being agile towards opportunities that the day may bring, that you're able to see them before the rest of the people see them. In Oshuambo, there's a saying that says, Jendongura o Jatora o Shima. It has been a very rewarding experience, and we thought it was strictly only for housewarming for the first time in our part uh, of the world. A business entity is being inaugurated the traditional way. So it has never happened before. We don't know where Godwana got this crazy <laughs> idea of uh, inaugurating it uh, the traditional way. The spirit of our ancestors will definitely be visiting you on a daily basis, urging you to do more. Oh, I like and, that. Uh, the community welcomes the investment. Your business philosophy of sharing with the community, it has never happened uh, before here also in the North. Uh, normally business entities will just step yeah. and uh, go and reinvest elsewhere. The experience was extraordinary and we need to constantly continue to embrace our culture and our diversity moving forward as a nation. Do you feel that the lodge as a whole is doing that in terms of embracing the culture? For Gondwana to have uh, chosen this opportunity to follow the culture, mm. I think it, it, it feels that the, the people of Ondonga feel ownership of this place. This is the first time uh, an establishment mm -hmm. uh, has been opened in a traditional culture. It says much about how we should respect culture in our diversity. That if you come to a place and uh, you find that people practice those culture, like that is really, to me, warmly embracing the culture, celebrating it and making it as part of Gondwana's values. Would you be so kind to tell us why is this opening so significant and why is it so important two years after the lodge has actually opened up? First of all, in 2020, we took a journey. We took a time to actually go out and invite all the traditional leaders and mm -hmm. they were all so excited to be here with us to celebrate, obviously, this new milestone. For us, it's just about honouring um, the invites that we sent out that um, beginning of the year and it's important for us to bring them all together. And they were looking so forward to it. And then obviously COVID happened and it had to be canceled. And um, the Ondonga King was very instrumental in obviously assisting in just like the relationship building, um, going out to the different traditional leaders and them mm. accepting this invite, them looking forward to it and this never happening. So we are so excited that they, some of them have made it, some of them have only sent representatives. So it's 
it's quite important. Why is it important to have these relationships with the surrounding leaders, the, especially the traditional leaders and the King of Ndonga with Itosha King Nihale? This is important because these are the leaders um, that the different communities look up to. Mm. Um, these are the people that people listen to. Whenever we obviously need assistance from their side to send out information and so forth, we need to get their buy-in mm -hmm. um, from their side as well. That's why this is also so important. How do they contribute to the to the growth or the rather say the success of Itosha King Nehale as a lodge in the tourism sector? Because we are obviously operating from the King Nehale Conservancy. There's employment from the people that are from the area and we don't know. This is the first lodge in the north. We never know where this is going to end up. This is just the beginning of the north. The mm. north is so big with eight kingdoms and further up north as well, all the way leading up to Ambaja, close to Angola. It's vast and that's why we also need this buy-in from the different traditional leaders. Mr. Trophy, as a board member, how would you describe your experience here at the inauguration for Itosha King Nehali? It's really an affirmation of what we discussed and to see it in practice. It's, it's wonderful. If you were a tourist here visiting this part of Namibia for the first time, what, what experience do you want our tourists to leave Itosha King Nehali with, especially considering that it's this part of Namibia? I think it's to see that um, cultural tourism mm -hmm. and what you can call almost classical or traditional tourism can actually coexist and you can see this, this large phase of all just the, the structure, the decor and mm. so on and, and also how integrated it is to some extent not only to the nature which is the, the, the park also to the community where this lodge is located that you can really have tourism as part of an integral part of nature and society. I wish I could visit Itosha King Nihale for the first time as well, because it's true, you'd really do walk away with that, uh, with that embodiment of appreciation when it comes to the culture, the community and tradition as yeah. large. So I think the last words maybe is, uh, is really goes to our staff, because they are the ones who bring it to life, who make it realized and we notice what you do and we you. experience it. Yes. This is a night of celebration. We are extremely fortunate and thankful and it's such an honor that we inaugurated the King Nehale Lodge this morning. We will get into the auction. The advantage of the cemental is you can increase the weight of your animals. And the most important thing about cemental is they are very tame animals. Very, very tame. It's a bull that comes from the Hochfeld area of Namibia. It's one of the most beautiful, pristine, selected areas of farming in Namibia. Um, it is now here in the greater of Humboldt area. The cows here would love to see such a sexy guy. The value of that bull is 80,000 Namibia dollars. So let's start with 30,000. 30,000? 40,000 Namibian dollars for 50,000. Thank you very much. 60,000 Namibian dollars. Yo! We have 70,000 Namibian dollars over there. Yo! Yes! And the Hailulu is here. Yes. At 80,000 Namibian dollars. 90,000 Namibian dollars. At 100,000 Namibian dollars. Going once, going twice. So, thank you very much. Thank you very much. It's a night of celebration. And I believe that moments of celebration also takes one back to the memory lane. It's a journey that the community in this area has started way back in 1997. And you can see how long it takes to be able to have a night such as this one to be able to celebrate. Please join me to thank that we have got private sector people such as Contorna Collections who are committed. Investing in communal areas is not a walk in the park. 
it is a high risk investment but they have seen it possible to be able to invest in this venture this model that we are celebrating tonight is for us something that we would like to replicate throughout namibia and especially in the north central region with the six conservancies that we have got here and this what we are celebrating tonight serves as a source of encouragement 2020 the etosha king nahal lodge started operating despite the covid pandemic the joint venture partnership has proven to be very successful although still very young it can be used as a model for how community based tourism can benefit everyone from that uh, local community that to the country's national parks and also to the gdp but we must all work together to ensure that whatever we do there's a guarantee for prosperity and the growth of the industry while safeguarding the future of the environment and our values that are namibia king nahale lodge is an ideal example of maintaining the right balance between industry growth livelihood of the people and protecting our unique resources you are providing a highly quality visit experience while at the same time being compassionate to our environment the lodge and the contwana have proven to have clear commitment to helping our tourism industry to achieve this objective finally let me declare this contwana king nahale facilities officially open